Hi everyone, this is Simon from Cramney Exam. In this video we're going to have a look at the answers to the use of English reading exercise which you can find in the link below this video. Just before we have a look at the exam question, first of all I'd like to say I found this question and more excellent materials at flowjo.com which is the place on the web for your Cambridge FCE first CAE advanced exam preparation. So after you check your answers, go to flowjo.com to do more exam questions. Okay, the exam question. Did you do the exam question in exam conditions? Have you got the test and answers in front of you now? Did you have a look at the links in the description below which gives you excellent advice about how to do this exam? Okay, let's have a look at your answers. Question number one is a nice easy way to start off this exercise. Before the gap we've got male which is an adjective but we don't have the noun that that adjective is modifying and also before the adjective we've got an article and we don't know the noun to which that article refers. So it's clear here we need a noun of some kind. But now we have to pay attention to the context. If we pay attention to the context we see that we're talking about a personal noun. In other words, a person. So, given the stem word that we've got, what is this personal noun that we need? Employee. For question number two, two ways to look at this. Of course, there's the easy way. Before the gap, we've got an article and we don't have the noun to which that article refers. So, here is the first indicator that we need a noun. Also, let's have a look at the language pattern. You receive something. In other words, receive plus noun. And, of course, we don't know what's received. So, in this case, another indicator that we need a noun of some kind. So, what is the noun that we need? Suspension. Question number three, let's have a look at the language pattern. Deal with plus noun. That's the language pattern that we've got here and that's indeed what we need. We need a noun of some kind. If we have a look at the context, we can see that we're talking about people. So we need a personal noun of some kind. Because we don't have the indefinite article A, this before the gap, that leads us, to in, uh, leads us to think that this might well be a plural personal noun. And certainly that suspicion is confirmed given the context that we're talking about. So here the answer is customers. For question number four, two things to be aware of here. First of all, we've got an article before the gap, but we don't have the noun to which that article refers. Also, we've got the verb, the language pattern, to make a what between. Well, here you make a plus noun between. And what's the noun that we need? Comparison. Question number five, and this is a language pattern that we meet very often with this word formation exercise, and that is seem plus adjective. Here, it's employees seem plus adjective. So what do employees seem? Well, they seem, in this particular case, given the stem word that we've got, concerned. Question number six. Right before the gap, we've got a plural possessive pronoun. And it doesn't matter if it's plural or singular. If you've got a possessive pronoun, you're going to need a noun of some kind. But which noun do we need? Because we can use a singular noun and we can use a plural noun. Well here we have to look after the gap and have a look at the verb because we have to always bear in mind subject verb agreement. Here the verb is is which means that we need a singular form of the noun. In other words argument. For question number seven two ways to have a look at this to get the right answer. Well the answer that we need is an adjective but why do we need an adjective? Well if we have a look before the gap we've got two modifiers which are adverbs. Adverbs modify two things, adjectives and verbs. If we were to put a verb form in this gap, of course, it would make no sense whatsoever uh, because the verb is produce, so far more produce doesn't make any sense. We need an adjective of some kind. Also, before those adverbs, we've got workers are something. In other words, that language pattern itself also indicates that we need an adjective of some kind. So what's the adjective that we need? Productive. Just as there was an easy way to begin the exercise, there's an easy way to end the exercise. Before the gap we've got an article, but we don't have the noun to which that article refers. So we need a noun here. What is the noun that we need? Freedom. Okay, I hope you managed to get most, if not all, of the answers correct. If you'd like to see more videos which cover the free and publicly available exam questions on the internet, then check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. 
However, if you want to do exam questions from the leading course books like Gold, Expert and Ready4, then please go to cramneyexam.com where, for the cost of one hour's work with a teacher, you can get a month's access to all the video teaching resources for all of the course books that we cover on the website. That's right, one small monthly payment and access to everything at cramneyexam.com.